one of the projects of the book was to help folks understand the move from SAP ERP to SAP s -Rahana. Yes. So can you give me a sense of how much has changed for initial planning or further downstream in that shift from ERP to S4? Is there a noticeable difference or are there minor tweaks that improve your life? So the question is, if you run ECC or R3, should you buy the book? And absolutely, because <laughs> product costing, the, the concepts of product costing is the same in ECC as in S4. In S4, you've got the universal gel and you've got the advantages of the, you know, the, the operation and the work center in the universal gel. So you get extra reporting out of S4, but the basic concept of product costing stays the same. So it's uh, useful for S4 and before S4. So Janet, can you jump in here and give us a high level summary of what changes the Universal Journal brought to uh, production variance analysis as we move into S4? So what, what technical structural change happened? I mean, I think most people have heard meanwhile that the Universal Journal combined your primary costs, so things like your material usage, any purchase goods that you've been buying specifically for a production order, and your secondary costs, so what we used to keep in separate CO tables, and puts them all into one place, this Universal Journal. At the moment, if you go to Esfahana, though, the production variances, the table structure doesn't change at all. We're still looking at the information in the standard cost estimate, we're comparing it with what happens in the actuals, and then we're giving you the variance calculation. It's only when you get to chapter seven, to my chapter, where I start to talk about how universal parallel accounting throws all the givens on, on, its, on their head, how we really start to change the table structures there as well and make all those period close processes part of what's, what's ongoing and generating journal entries for work in process and for variances as we go along. The other thing that I think people worry about as they get into that early planning stage is whether they're going to plan the old way using the classic planning transactions or whether they're going to look at SAP Analytics Cloud for planning, which is something, obviously there's a tool element to that. There's a business content element to that where we have the integrated business planning, which will support you in things like cost center planning, um, order planning, profitability planning, and so on. But you still need that nitty gritty cost estimate stuff because the master data that John's going to talk about in the following um, chapters, so things like your bill of material, your routing, the information in the work center, we don't attempt to move that into SAP Analytics Cloud for planning. We would do a cost estimate and then simply pull the results in, and then you could start um, doing uh, various simulations. So, you know, trying to decide what would be the impact of the change of raw material cost. Yeah, 